The Citrix bug is still not patched and is being actively exploited in the wild. <laughs> Matt, there's some attacks against uh, Citrix and the Netscaler gateway? Yep, so this actually started back in uh, December. Uh, this bug was disclosed on December 16th. Uh, it's a bug in the Netscalers um, and also the Netscaler gateways. Um, discovered by this group Positive Technologies, who's been releasing bugs for a while. And it affects a bunch of different versions. And you know, at, at first glance, it's directory traversal. So basically, if you've got a URL and you can, you know, go up a directory, usually I do a dot dot slash, um, but you can, you know, it's not supposed to let you out of a certain restricted directory, but by doing this, you can kind of break out and poke around the system to where you're not supposed to be, um, which is bad enough, but this is also a command execution bug. So if you can use this uh, to run arbitrary commands um, on these victim net, net um, Netscaler boxes, which is a problem because then people can download malware and go on there, pivot down to the network. It's a big deal. Um, so there is active exploitation in the wild for this bug. Uh, the downside is that right now, um, Citrix does not have a patch. They have recommended mitigations. They tell you to update to certain versions, but it's not a complete patch. And some of the mitigations they recommend apparently could break functionality. Oh, really? Or it may not be I a complete I think the fix. mitigation is it puts a, like a responder in, right? Yeah, which is something I'm not super familiar with, but okay. it sounds like you can define a response to that particular attack URL, okay. and it'll handle most cases. Um, but I did hear rumblings that not all cases. Okay. So, and um, I thought it was interesting how the researchers found it, because mm -hmm. they kind of do a lot of the stuff that we do here on the show. They, they found scanning from a German IP and then a Poland IP on specific ports. You know, 443, kind of a common port, but also 2083, 2087, and 8443, which is a, just a variant of 443. Uh -huh. So, you know, and, th and then also it says they, they could see how much sort of internet facing um, vulnerable endpoints are out there, kind of like. So oh, you're of, talking about the badpackets.net report yeah, about scanning for this. Right, stuff. yeah. yeah. Which is interesting because you know that, you know that's a lot of the same way you guys do your analysis, the way we run through the weather here and what sure. we look for. That you know this is a case where that those same techniques led these researchers to get this all the way out to CVE and everything. So yeah, no, it's I mean 443 is a great place to be sitting and listening for bugs because right, right. like it's it's a web server. Like right. you'll find all sorts of stuff. You just have to be able to sift out your own application traffic from known attacks and then whatever's left is something else that might be worth investigating. Like right. if I were to look at this and see somebody trying VPN slash dot dot slash VPNs, whatever falls that in the attack, that would be interesting enough to go after, I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it's pretty cool. I mean, obviously Citrix is a very well-known company, has plenty of install base. I think Bad Packet said 25,000 internet connected servers. Yeah, and uh, 4,500 vulnerable ASNs, wow. so pretty... That's a lot of network, yeah. yeah. Uh, and there is a really good write-up uh, by uh, Alien Labs, okay, our good. very own, so yeah. I, I would recommend people check that out if they want more details uh, awesome. on this. Cool. What do you think, Tony? Um, it's it's bad. It's, I mean, if they don't have a patch for it, they're giving you mitigation, it's bad. Um, Matt, did they say anything about though they don't have a patch, but they have a timeline on when something would be released, or did they just say, no patch, here's the mitigation, and then we will let you know later? From what I read, um, Citrix is claiming there will be a patch, a permanent patch, available on January 20th, which as of today's filming is still six days away. Um, so it's, yeah. it's still concerning, yeah. With that amount of uh, exposure out there, six days, this has been announced, you know, just kind of fingers crossed that they, they hurry it up and maybe it's four days, three days, but I don't know. Yeah. Well, if you're out there and you're watching the show, um, definitely keep an eye on your Citrix servers. Because, uh, I mean, people use these as gateways into multiple other apps. And it's sort of like a, a, a wedge between those apps and the internet. So, like, if they didn't really want to put their app out on the internet for some reason. Maybe it wasn't patchable. Maybe it had its own, you know, you know right. issues. And it you seems would like put Citrix in the way. It seems like we've been seeing a lot of vulnerabilities with some of these sort of, um, you know, professional, you, professionally used tools, VPNs, mm -hmm. Citrix, 
RDP, RDP where yep. you, tools that as a you know a, a corporate worker you think are protecting you, and then we're finding that there there's you know it just shows you there's vulnerabilities everywhere, right? But yeah, you know like last time I was on we we talked about a, a vulnerability in in the VPN technology itself. Yep, and it's like when you you know if you're using Citrix or if you're using VPN you think you're putting an extra layer in, but yeah, maybe. Well, <laughs> well, let's not confuse like software that's meant to provide security with secure software. That's right? yep, I absolutely. Mean, the, the, they're, they're designed to do one thing and not to, to protect against attacks against the software itself. Right. Sometimes. You, you almost wonder if they're they're pivoting from individual things like uh, last year and the year before, there was a lot of topics on the show about like uh, struts, Tomcat, you know, individual web application sort of stuff. And then now it's more of a general security control or even, you know, something that is very business related like, you know, VPN for the remote workers and all that. And they're they're focusing on trying to poke holes through that now. Almost through like the core services. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, sure, but I also remember that a few years ago, like if you want to go core, like there were a bunch of like C bugs, then there was there was shell shock, there was heartbleed, right. there was like core library bugs yeah. or core language bugs or like protocol level stuff. Like if you want to find yourself a bug that lasts for a very long time, that's where if I were an attacker, I'd spend my time. I understand that, yeah, VPN is a pretty good place to look too. Right. Um, but like for a while there, there was like some existential level <laughs> bugs yeah. coming out um, that are probably not yeah. patched yeah. everywhere that they're still present. You know what I yeah. mean? If you're using Citrix, just make sure you follow the mitigation steps. Keep your eyes out for a full patch and be more aware of what's going on in your network to see if, if you happen to fall victim to any active exploit.